All right, guys, look, my name is Tommy, and this is the Gallery Backyard Barbecue. And look, if this is your first time here, please consider hitting that subscribe button and ringing that bell so you get notified every time the channel does a future upload. So guys, look, over the past few weeks, I've gotten a couple emails, a couple private messages, and also a few comments down in other videos on which product I recommend on this, that, or the other. So with Father's Day right around the corner, and the 2022 barbecue season just upon us, I figured I'd break it down one by one on what the Gallery Backyard Barbecue uses in most or just about every show. Now look, I'll try to keep this show as quick as possible. I'll show the product, give a little uh, reasoning behind that product, and then move on to the next product. Now you'll want to check the uh, show notes down in the description as I may have a, uh, a coupon or two for, for such product if that's the one that you're interested in. And without further ado, well, let's start the show. All right, guys, look, man, let's start off here with some butcher paper. And this is probably probably one of the most emails I get during the year as people want to know, is it OK to wrap with parchment paper or how about foil? They don't have any butcher paper. No stores in the area sell butcher paper. So there's basically two kinds of butcher paper. You're going to have 18 inches and 24 inches. Do yourself a favor and pick up the 24 inches. The 18 inches, while good and serves its purpose, you are not gonna be able to uh, uh, wrap unless you double it up. And who wants to double it up? A big, nice, full pack or brisket. You're gonna need this 24 inches to get a full wrap around. And look, I do prefer butcher paper when I do wrap. The only time I use foil when I wrap is usually in, in like ribs if I'm doing 221 or 321. Any other time that I wrap, it is the 24 inch butcher paper. Again, links down below, right to Amazon, just order it. All right guys, look, so another highly emailed question is about my sprayer here. And you'll see a lot of the uh, barbecue channels use this same sprayer. Obviously I added my sticker to it. And look, I've tried many other sprayers and sure you could pick up a, uh, you know, water bottle at your basic loads or whatever and just use that, but it should be food safe, which this definitely is. And so look, man, one of the uh, one of the things, one of the perks, little perks I like with this thing is the uh, tip kind of rotates. So if you're gonna spray underneath, you got a nice, uh, a nice stream coming up underneath your ribs or whatever it is that you're spraying. Now look, last time I checked uh, Amazon, which is about the only place that I found it at a reasonable price, it is backed up, I do believe, to late June, early July, but I will have links down in the description. Just order it now and you'll have it before you know it. All right, guys, look, man, so as promised, we are moving right along. And another email I get all the time is about the gloves that I use on the show. Look, you can go out and spend 20, 30 bucks on a, uh, you know, a box of 50 gloves. But the way the Gallery Backyard Barbecue uses them, I'll go through maybe, you know, four, five, six to ten pairs of gloves on, you know, on one setting, on one filming. I'll film something, take them off, get them in the garbage, put another pair on, blah, blah, blah. I just picked these up from Amazon. It's the, uh, it's the ones that I use on the show. They are on sale at, I believe, about eight bucks or nine bucks, a, uh, nine bucks a box shipped right to your door. And they do come with two heat resistant gloves in each box. So there's 50 pairs, two heat resistant gloves per box for about eight bucks shipped to your door. How could you beat that? And again, the links are down below under show notes. All righty guys, so look for my griddle friends out there. You could see I got two here on the board and I use these on every cook. And look, I've been cooking on the griddle probably since the uh, early 80s or so. When I worked in my mom's uh, restaurant, I worked that griddle, man, like it was nobody's business. So look, man, there is no way that you can properly work a griddle in your backyard without one of these suckers right here, man, because you've got to know your temperature. You cannot guess with a, uh, with a griddle. You have to exactly know what temperatures that you are cooking at. 
and this infrared laser will definitely do the trick and you could see how dirtied up this one i have had this one here for probably you know two three years i just got another one here and again for anybody who works the griddle it is a must have again links down in the description pick one up Alrighty, so look man, another one where I get a lot of emails is my Burger Smasher. I've been using this on the channel probably for, I don't know, two and a half, three years. And I must have gotten 40, 50 emails on this. And uh, I know it's an attractive smasher, I guess. People just kind of, uh, people just kind of gravitate towards it as I do have a few other smashers in the, uh, in the arsenal. But no, nobody ever asks about them. It is always this one. I'll link it. It'll be down under show notes. All right, guys, yeah, I am down here again. And look, what could I say about this company right here, man? You know, as, as, the, uh, as the channel grows and as the channel gets bigger and bigger, you definitely get pulled in a lot of different directions. I get contacted by other seasoning companies all the time. I do do some work for some of them and do enjoy a lot of them. But hey, man, push come to shove, gun to the head. I would be just as happy using this Uncle Steve shake on just about every show. I mean, this uh, this Gator shake right here, this is my daughter's favorite. This stuff through the roof is so distinctive in flavor. I guarantee you, you've never tasted anything like it. It's got a little lemon lime type notes. It goes great on that stuff like chicken wings, chops, and even breakfast, man. I've used it on eggs in the past. And I am telling you, man, pound for pound, this is probably one of the uh, one of the best shakes, best rubs that I could use on a piece of food. So look, one other thing before I jump out of this one, if you contact Uncle Steve Shake and do place an order, again, I got links down in the description. Ask him for that gallery backyard barbecue label right there. And I do believe he will slap that on for you and get your order right out. Guys, Uncle Steve's Shake, links in the description. Go place your order today. I am telling you, you will smile from ear to ear. All right, guys, look at my age. Since I'm down here, I figured I would stay down here. And look, the uh, the show usually sticks with a product, man. If I like a product, I am going to stick with it. But there is one product change that I have made on the show, and that product is my temp gauges that you see here. I just did a uh, I just did a review on this one here. So look, when I'm cooking a, a long cook, I'm gonna have stuff to do around the property, around the house. I might shoot over a neighbor's house, and I need to know the pit is okay. I need to know the food is okay. So I need something with great distance, and that is the chef's temp. There is no doubt about it. You saw the video. If not, I'll post the link up top. I took this way down the block, man, past four, five, six houses and still got a reading, man. So I did make the switch over to Chef Temp. They keep good temperatures handheld. And also my, uh, my one for distance here, you got your high-low alarms. You, you got all the normal jazz, man. It is easy to work and also comes with this... Uh, comes with this nice booklet here man so chef's temp i definitely do recommend them and again links down below in the description all right guys bring it up i am back up here now look what could i say about this uh about this company here and the product man of course i am talking about grill great and i will tell you what i could say about them it is the one product as you could see here on the uh table as you know the gallery back here at barbecue gets a lot of pits in here it usually keeps them about a year and then moves them on hey man not my grill grates man this is uh all this is one product that stays at the gallery back here at barbecue i have many different sizes here so when i get a new pit i'm going to have my grill grates to match that pit that's how important grill grates are to me and look, if you've never cooked on these suckers, man, I am telling you, man, they are game changers in the backyard. Now, look, I don't use them as much as I would like to on the show. That's because I have to do all kinds of different recipes. But you will be seeing a few different recipes coming up in the future. Again, man, do your research. Read the reviews. If you are looking to raise your grill game through the roof, you definitely want to pick up some grill grates for your... Uh, for your pit and I will have information down below and look hey man if you order a set reach back out to me let me know and maybe I'll send you a little gift guys that is grill grates check them out information down below in the description
All right, guys, I mean, look, man, comment down below on who wouldn't want one of these bad boys to open up for Father's Day and use all summer long. Of course, I am talking about Dell Strong knives. Here is my chef knife. This is the first one that I, uh, first one that I got on the show and has been re recently retired from the show. My red-handled Dell Strong. This will not be used again probably on the show as I do have a... Uh, I have another one here. One of my favorite Dell Strong knives is this bad boy right here. I just think it is so cool right here. It's got the uh, it's got the bottle opener and of course the uh, stabber to move things around. Man, it is just a uh, it is a good looking knife. I believe it's called the uh, Pitmaster. And also I do have my new chef's knife here. I got my uh, slicer right here. This is the only one uh, on the slicer that I need. And of course, I got this bad boy here when some uh, chicken needs to be quartered comes my way. This bad boy is ready to roll. And look, man, one thing I could say about these, uh, one thing I could say about these Dell Strong knives, first of all, I've never really heard a bad thing about them. And it is the only knife that I cannot keep in the house. My wife wants no part of these knives as they are just sharp as can be. I mean... I mean, look, man, if you are not careful with these knives, you can easily lose a finger. She wants no part of these things. I keep these things wrapped up away from the dog, away from the wife, away from the daughter, and keep these locked away in my office. These are Dell Strong knives, and I do believe I have a 10% off coupon down in the description. Go grab one, have it by Father's Day, and use it all summer long and for many summers to come. This is Dell Strong knives. All right, guys, look, man, I am going to close out the show right here with this bad boy. And, of course, I am talking about the uh, grill gun by Grill Blazer. So, look, man, what guy doesn't want to wake up on Father's Day morning and unwrap one of these suckers? I mean, who doesn't want a flamethrower in their backyard barbecue arsenal? So look, this is probably one of the uh, one of the uh, only things on the uh, channel that I use more than just a barbecue. I mean, I use this to light up the uh, fire pit. If I'm going to burn off some leaves in the uh, in the backyard, I'll use this to light it up. Hey man, why not? And of course, on fuel, I'll use this every time to light it up. And I've just gotten my uh, Char Griller Auto Kamado. And you've seen me use this on that. And I mean, it makes lighting up stuff like that a breeze. When you fire up the Weber kettle, I mean, one, two, three, man, you know, 20, 30 seconds and you are good to go. Guys, it is the Grill Gun by Grill Blazer. Again, information down below. And I do believe I have a coupon down there. All right, man, look, man, that is going to close out this show here. I appreciate all you guys. Happy Father's Day to all the dads out there. Happy 2022 growing season to everyone. All right, man, look, that is going to wrap up this show here. I appreciate all you guys, man. Leave me a, uh, leave me a comment down in the description and let me know if you're going to pick anything up. And until next time, we will see you soon.